We've just started today at 2 p.m. a hunger strike. The aim of this hunger strike to stop those processes which are going on in the public media where the unbiased and partial, inf uh, partial information rights of the public is violated day by day, where they are manipulating the news in the public media, in the public television, almost, I must say, day and day, and there is no consequences. There are now two highlighted cases, which is well known in the Hungarian public, when the, those who made this violation, those who manipulated the news, they were caught, like I would say, caught on the spot. Once there was a manipulated news about a European Parliament member visits in Hungary, Tom Bendit, who is famous for his uh, leadership role in the six states uh, movements in France, and he's now a European MP, who is also known, well known in Hungary because he made a very critical speech about the Hungarian democracy and the Hungarian current government when Orban Viktor, our Prime Minister, was visiting the European Parliament when Hungary had and started the EU uh, presidency. And after this, certain areas of the media, including unfortunately the Hungarian public media, they started a concentrated attack, personal attacks on these MPs, not about challenging what he was saying, but uh, trying to, to, to get some dirt on his personality, on his personal integrity, digging out certain things about his past, which actually was quite widely discussed in France and uh, kind of accusations that he have some pedophile roles, it was, uh, it was dismissed by courts and now this, though anybody who is charging him with this, this kind of accusations usually is not in pre-leadership role in the French politics, whether within France or outside. So these MPs, uh, there was a report and the reporter falsificated what was said by him. He made a false report and he was caught on spot by an internet magazine, but nothing happens, and nothing happened. He was even promoted on the same day when the article appeared in the internet portal. He was promoted to be appointed to be the head of news of all public media news section, which is just unbelievable. No, I cannot even believe that any European EU country could have similar things what happened in Hungary, and this guy is still leading the the news department, even on other departments in the last half a year since it happened, it was in April. And now there was another highlighted case that they tried to blur the image of the former Supreme Court head, uh, the judge of Zoltán Lomnici. They tried to make an interview with another uh, European Parliament member's politicians Laszlo Turkish, who is a former bishop, very important persons who played a key role in the Transylvanian and Romanian happenings in the, at the end of the 80s when the Ceausescu regime dictatorship was brought down and that was his personal role is very important, everybody remembers this. And they were talking about certain very serious problems with Slovakia about citizenships, that Hungarians are deprived of citizenships if they, if they applied and got the Hungarian citizenship, then they deprived from the Slovak citizenship. So there was an interview with the bishop, who is uh, having a kind of foundations together with the former head judge. And uh, the instructions, oral instructions was, which is well known, they say all my colleagues in the last one and a half year, was that Mr. Zolta Lomnici cannot appear in uh, any news uh, item. They should do something. So they tried to get him not visible and they made use the technique like blurring the image when the bishop was talking and on his back there was seen that Mr. Zoltan Lomnici was talking to other persons and this went on air in two editions one is the main news editions of Duna television and the Hungarian television news edition at half past seven so everybody got notice that something happened and then of course in very short time it appeared that those whose image was blurred the same technique was used as it's used for like criminals or somebody whose personal rights should be protected then it was the former head of judge who also commented later that he did notice that he is not welcome in the public media in the last one and a half year but he personally although feels 
and he consulted other lawyers that it was a very serious violation of his personal rights. He didn't want to make a legal procedure because of this, but, but the case is going on. Now we could say it's not about the former head of charge personal integrity anymore. It's also very serious violations, but it just was a highlighted case, what's going on in the public media day by day. No responsibles were held. Three scapegoats were found, were found guilty even before the real investigations took place. This also is something which happens in the 50s or 60s in Hungary or in a dictatorship, but not in an EU democratic country. It's unacceptable. Those responsibles are still in their positions. They're getting high salaries made by the work of the Hungarian peoples because their taxes are contributing that these salaries could be paid. These have persons, they are violated all media laws, regulations, internal regulations, and also the basic ethics codes of any journalist that don't say lie, don't tell lies. So because there is no too much things we can do, we made protest from we made a formal complaint with the media authority. We made and wrote a letter detailed examples of the violations of the news, not just these two cases, but other cases. We got even no reply. So then we decided that we will start a movement in Hungary, which is written on this box. The name of this movement is called for the just informations movement for the correct information, like uh, honest information. It means we would like to have real, unbiased, impartial and objective information service from the public media and everybody who would like to support this cause regardless of political or any kind of beliefs or positions could join as citizens, Hungarian and non-Hungarians and support our case and could take one red card as used in football everybody knows what's the meaning of the red card so those who want to show a red card and say this red card is for the public media leaders and those red cards for those who violates the law and who are making this distortion of information they should get out and this card is who wants who agree with we will put this box and we will collect this we ask the citizens and the people write down also their opinions we will deliver these red cards to the media authority and also pressuring them that they should do something and i personally started now this hunger strike at least to to make the people think that something should be done we cannot just wait and see we should act we should demand that justice has to be done how the hungarian people will know that you started to this hunger strike well one is the way to know it like you and others citizens who are making reports, who are making chronics, archives of this. I ask everybody to put on all available sites, internet, and also, of course, we call for press conference. The public media also was here. That's also telling you the story that the public media was here a few couple of days ago. I made all the presentations and no news items has been appeared in the television so far on this matter. It's a, it tells you a story that there is a protest, a hunger strike started in front of a public media main building and the public media tells nothing about this. It's again, I say, it's again a violation of the law. So they are violating the law day and day, even on this case. Yesterday, because I made a formal protest and we will formal, launch a formal protest according to the media law that they didn't inform the people about this thing in the empty news agency they finally made a, a news item about this and they they made a kind of reporting on this but still again i say nothing has been heard on the public media news channel tv news channels and according to my information neither in the in the radio channels it was in other commercial channels and uh, media outlets other newspapers i think the media is responsible also that to tell the people what's going on can you introduce yourself? Uh, who are you? And are you a civil uh, uh, in front of the television or are you what? 
Well, it's a good question. I think now it's I'm a citizen. I'm also a journalist, a public media journalist. I have been working in the public media since I started my work as a journalist. I started my work after the changes in a so-called democracy, free elections. They say freedom of press. And now I can tell you that in many parts, unfortunately, there is no freedom of press. The public media is not working as it should be in a democratic country. It works as it worked 20, 30, 40 years before. And I'm also a trade union leader, uh, young, in, in my mean the young trade union, because it was set up just a year ago. But it's now the second biggest trade union in the MTV, the Hungarian television. And I'm the vice president of this trade union. And also I'm a president of a council of the public media trade unions. There are at the moment nine trade unions who belong to these consultative councils. And we try to have common approach and common strategy when we, we are having negotiations with the employer. I'm also a civil citizen. Uh, I would say an activist of human rights. I've been active in human rights in the last couple of years. I am former president of Amnesty International Hungary also. But basically I'm here, I'm a citizen who is outraged what's going on in the public media. I'm a citizen who thinks that if democracy is real democracy, then we, these things couldn't happen. And as a citizen, I have the right to demand that justice should be done and have the right to demand that real public media should fulfill the obligation which is set up in the law and which is set up even without law in everybody's minds. The public media should serve the public, not should be a channel of any governments, any political groups or economic groups. Thank you very much. I come. Szerintem kéne oda mellétek még a Benemózsiás kosárt, a ügyesen. És akkor mind a ketten alelnökök vagytok. Igen, alelnökök. Fel, ugye? Csak, csak az elnök az ott van. Bocsánat, a nevedet még egyszer megkérdezhetem. Szávúj Aranka. Szávúj. Pontos uh -huh. Y-Y-Y. L-Y-Y-Y. Köszönöm szépen. Nem? Minden jó további van. Már ketten vagytok, akik hőségsztrájkolnak, vagy te egyedül? Nem, most ketten a, a ketten alelnök társammal együtt. Száz ügyelektával együtt, akkor így van. I I igen. És uh, estére nagy sátortából lesz itt? Nem tudjuk még, meg kell mondani, hogy az, azt hiszem, hogy nem egy normális állapot, hogyha valaki hőségsztrájkot folytat. Nekem sem volt ebben még részem, hál' Istennek. Ebben a tekintetben mondjuk, hogy szerencsések vagyunk, hogy nem kellett éhezni szabad akaratunkból, de hát most eljött az a pillanat, amikor azt hiszem más lehetőség már nem nagyon van. Megpróbáljuk felrázni az embereket, felrázni az újságírókat is, hogy egyszerűen álljanak ki és mondják el, hogy mi történik. Enélkül nem fog változni.